And we are back once again on Yankees Hot Stove. And yes, we do read your tweets when everybody says, well, it's not the hot stove, it's the cold stove. We get it. We know that's happening. We've talked a lot about that on the show. It's been that way for a lot of the big free agents, including DJ LeMayhew. And now, Jack, we're hearing that maybe the Dodgers have heated things up a little bit. Justin Turner's a free agent with them as well. He's a fan favorite, but you think LeMay LeMayhew could quickly grow into that. Right. When you look at the DJ LeMayhew situation from a Yankee perspective, if you're a Yankee fan, this is the song you're playing from Tom Petty. The waiting is the hardest part. And that's where the Yankees are right now. The Yankees have made him their priority. They have told him what the parameters would be for them bringing him back. But the Yankees are not going to bid against themselves. You're right, Bob. There was a report by John Morosi about the Dodgers having interest in D.J. LeMahieu. The Yankees know that D.J. LeMahieu is a quality player and other teams will have interest in him. But there's also a level that they will go to to try and bring him back and in speaking to someone from the organization recently, they said they're in the wait-and-see mode, thus the Tom Petty reference. Yeah, it's not just the Yankees who are in the wait-and-see mode. It seems like all of Major League Baseball are waiting for the big boys to sign contracts. Bauer, Springer, LeMayu, you get a feeling that once they make their minds up, or probably more importantly, once the organizations make their minds up on what their offers are going to be, I mean, there's word coming out now that we're going to have a regular spring training, maybe a full regular season. There's still so much doubt around our game that I can't blame the organizations for holding back a little bit, biding their time, and trying to figure out what the right contract is to offer to these players.